I bought this little uh, RF amplifier from Aliexpress. I probably showed it in the earlier mail video. I think this looks like this. So it cost about $18. And they say it's capable of uh, 3 watts. 3.2 watts. From 1 megahertz to 700 megahertz. So 1 milliwatt input, 3 watts output at 15 volts. Okay, a half amp. So 15 volts at a half an amp. 35 dB of gain. Uh, but it says it falls off. And it cautions me not to power it up without a, uh, a load. So I'll hook up some power leads here and we'll look at it on the spectrum analyzer. Now I have made a drawing. Here's a pictorial layout of the board. It's not to scale. If I had done the drawing to scale, these components would not be big enough to put writing inside of. Schematic is fairly simple. This is a 3 dB pad, 3 dB attenuator. Actually, as close to 3 dB as off the shelf components allow you at 50 ohms. This is an MMIC device. Power comes from, for the first stage, comes through a 9 volt regulator, a 51 ohm dropping resistor, a choke, and power is applied to the output of the gain stage. Locking capacitors, the second stage is powered directly through a choke from the input. And there's also an LED and of a diode powered at 9 volts. There's a bunch of bypass capacitors and they come in pairs 10 and 11, 4 and 5, so and so. These are invariably a large and small value in parallel, but they're not marked and take this for example they're not marked and they're connected in parallel so I could try to read them or I could try to remove them and read them but it wasn't worth my time so this is the input pad coupling capacitor device 1, device 2 and these have been scrubbed it appears to be a zero but I'm not sure but I can't identify these. Here's a blocking capacitor, blocking capacitor and output, inductors, uh, 7809, plus input, minus input. The whole thing's mounted on a heat sink. And before I power it up, I'll take it off and put some heat sink compound on the other side for these two devices here, maybe for this one. This document, as well as the seller's page, are available in the uh, subdirectory listed below. You guys know how that works. Well, I've uh, taken the circuit board off with the intention of putting some heat sink compound on it. This is the first one I think I've found in years that actually has heat sink compound applied at the factory. So we'll just let that go. The amplifier powered up at 15 volts. It's drawing about a half an amp. I've got a total of 30 dB of attenuation hooked to the output, 20 dB and 10. Looking at the spectrum analyzer, I have a tracking generator on and normalized. Tracking output is 0 dBm. 
So that is the input to our amplifier. I have a uh, offset of 30 dB to allow for the attenuator. I'm sweeping from 700 kilohertz to a gigahertz. And the marker is set at 700 megahertz. The output was uh, 3 watts and the system was to have it at the low end 35 dB of gain. We have an output at 700 megahertz of 30.1 decibels. And if we go down to the low end, say right about here, uh, 135 megahertz. We have our 35 dB again. It drops off pretty quickly. Here we're at 7 megahertz and 34.5 decibels output. Remember 30 dBm is 1 watt and 35 dBm is 3.2 watts. So we're above 34 which is above 2.5 watts. And here at 700 we're down to 1 watt of output. So we have about 3 watts right in here and about 1 watt here. The heat sink is quite hot. I mean I can hold it but it's uncomfortable. This little gain device here is no, it's not too bad. So that's a look at this amplifier, $18. Thank you.